So once you pop the top off of one of these devices, you notice a series of wires and different components. Over here on the right, we've got a transformer and a power supply. The purpose of that is to convert the wall voltage that you plug into the wall outlet, which is 110 volts AC, into other voltages, such as DC voltages that are used to run lots of these chips and circuit components up here. Those are the ones that are useful to make the measurement and uh, present the data in the front panel readout. We won't talk much about that in this video, but instead what we will talk about is the optical layout, which is over here on the left of the device, okay? Now you know the first part of the spectrophotometer is the light source. Sure enough, we look in this door here on the side, we've got a little tungsten light bulb that we can turn on, and that provides the source of our visible electromagnetic radiation. This is a visible UV vis instrument, or a vis instrument. Now, on the other side, the back side, it's difficult to see, but that's where our input window and entrance slit is. If I turn this on, you'll see that light bulb gets really bright. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but our, our entrance slit is right inside that window, okay? Usually that little housing door is closed, you see there's vents in it to dissipate the heat. Now the light from that in input window or, or entrance slit then enters into this black box, okay? It's where the optical dispersion is carried out. If I take the roof of that box off, we'll start to examine what's going on in here very closely. Over in that far back region, very difficult to see my suspicion of this. But there's going to be an, uh, oh, there it is. You can see that. But you see that little bright spot right there? That's the image of the entrance slit. So the light's coming through there right now, okay? It actually goes between the little bars of this bracket and comes down to the other end of the instrument, down here. There's a mirror right inside that little square, okay? It's a little hard to see, but there's a mirror in there. And that's our collimating mirror, okay? So I'm gonna place this right here, and you can see that, indeed, the light from the source here is being imaged onto that little slit under our collimating mirror. The mirror is back inside there. Now that light gets reflected back in the opposite direction, back over here, or down inside there is our grating. Okay, now our grating is attached to this, this arm right here, okay? Now, it's a little bit compl complex mechanically, but over here in the front is that knob that turns the grating or adjusts the wavelength. I know what that does when I start messing with it, okay? First thing you probably notice is the mechanical action up here. This is that dial that reads out the wavelength on the front panel. And you can see that that changes when I turn this, okay? That's been mechanically calibrated to read the correct wavelength. Also, we're connecting to this belt drive right here, right? You see that? And if you look at what that does down here, it turns that little cam, or that rod, and if you look ever so carefully, notice that what that's doing is, is basically moving this piece of aluminum rock back and forth, okay? Now, that piece of aluminum is attached to this piece right here, which ultimately mounts to our grating, our refraction grating, which is back inside there, okay? So basically what happens then is when I, I turn this knob, I'm basically tilting that grating differently, okay? Now if you look really closely, you can see a rainbow of light up here, back here, okay? Now remember what's happening, the light comes in from our uh, entrance slit through here, off this concave mirror, our collimating mirror. The light reflects back to the grating, which is inside here, you can't see it right now. The light's being dispersed into the rainbow of colors, okay? The Roy G. Booth pattern that we're familiar with. Now, if I turn this grating, watch what happens to the placement of the light. You see it's kind of moving left and right? I'm basically moving the position of the different colors down there on that projection screen. Now, of 
course in operation, we're not going to have a projection screen there, but instead, I've got another hole. Inside there is our focusing mirror. And basically, if I change this dial, I can then change what colors of light basically will make it to that, that focusing mirror. What colors of light will bounce off that focusing mirror. The light will bounce back this way reflect off of this tiny little mirror right here and move it towards the front of the device. And if you notice towards the front of the device, what do we have? Our familiar cuvette holder. Right? This is a standard one centimeter cuvette that you place down in here. This particular instrument has a filter wheel. This filter wheel is basically um, used to, to filter out stray light. It's just an optical filter that allows certain wavelengths to pass. And we have our sample, our cuvette. And then towards the front of the device, down through here, we take this off, we've got our detector. And this is the detector circuit board right here. And you can see if you look on that circuit board right there, is the circuit symbol for a photodiode. And indeed, this is a photodiode based instrument. So there's a little photodiode in there, it's a light detector. And after we spectrally select the color up here in our monochrometer, we pass that specific color through our sample. It is incident on the photodiode down there, and that's our detector. It converts our light intensity into an electrical signal. And then all of these circuit components basically read that electrical signal and present the data to the user on the front panel interface. So that's the insides of a, 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 a Viz spectrophotometer.